So this is me braiding my hair with Kaneko on here with rubber bands. Definitely the only way that I know how to braid and these are the products that I used. Okay, so I started doing my hair two days ago and I was just parting it and then using the leave-in conditioner. So yeah, so I part it, comb it out, and I'll just walk you through to it. I ended up having to just stop the process that I was doing because it took forever. So last night I just went and parted my hair in the size that I'm gonna make the braids. I put some conditioner on it, the leave-in conditioner, and these parts are horrible. They're not straight. And the last time I did my hair, it was perfect. I really don't know what's going on this time, but um, I put some cream on it. Like I said, this is the rubber band method. It's the only way that I know how to do it because I suck at everything here. No, I'm not looking for pity. That's just the truth. And this is my first time using the leave-in olive oil, Axon Pride. I've never used that before. I wish I had gotten it before because instantly when I started doing my hair, my curls looked really good. And I wish I had used this before I started braiding. But anyway, see how that part's not perfect? These braids would look so much better if they were but I don't have anyone to part my hair. So this is what I do. I open it like that. <laughs> open it, take the hair. Try to not pull down so it's not all even because you want to braid. I'm braiding all the way to the end. Some of these aren't all the way to the end. But you have that, like, take your twist and you, like, take it apart. Put the hair in the center of the part. If you have someone else to help you with this, it's so much better. But I don't, so I just take my clip and try and hold that here down and make sure that's in the center and I usually end up just putting it in my mouth <laughs> yeah not in my mouth like with my tongue on it but yeah it goes in my mouth or I would take this clip which is for <laughs> like a potato chip bag bag holder whatever and I hold it there just because I need the hair to be held down and you find your two, where is it? Oh, there it is. It's already together. Yeah, see how that's loose? So that's why I end up putting it in my mouth. And you want to do it not super tight because I need my hair to be here when these braids come out. So, yeah, don't do it super tight. And then I twist my hair. I just go ahead and twist it. To me, I think this is actually supposed to actually protecting my hair. I fell in the lock. <laughs> my hair looks really bad. Yeah, the reason I started braiding my hair, or while I'm braiding, why I'm braiding it this time is because I haven't been using my nightcap at night and my hair is really, 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 really knotted. And it, it just falls off 
Like my hair is all over my house. Bathroom, bedroom, kitchen, dining room, outside and patio is everywhere. So that's twisted. And you start braiding. I sometimes like to hold the hair back just so the braid that doesn't get caught in the braid. I guess it's not too bad that part, but like I said, the last time I did my hair, which was the very first time I braided my hair, it was perfect. So I'm gonna do this so that you can see the braid. Try not to stop. I really want to stop because my uh, my hair looks really ashy <laughs> right now. But you just braid. A little bit. Of course, my camera or my Space was. I didn't have enough space on my device. So I had to stop. This is the important part when you're getting it down. I'll show you what to do. Okay, so you just borrow some hair. And this is where you want to start braiding really, really close together so that that hair is meshed with the, this hair. <laughs> and like I said, I braid it all the way down because I'm thinking about doing my entire hair because I just did my daughter's hair and I should have actually um, taken you guys through that process. Her hair came out amazing because I'm able to part her hair. Like I can't see on the top of my head, I can't see on the back of my head, so mine is gonna look really, really bad. I'm an amateur. Um, and her hair looks really good. I ended up not braiding her hair all the way down just because um, I had already started and then I started watching some YouTube videos, of course, and just trying to think of some kid-friendly styles. Oh, she's only nine. I never thought I would have braids in her hair, but um, that's another story for another day. I'm almost to the end. Anyway, I found this video on YouTube, a few videos, and um, the girls just braided their hair all the way down, and when they dipped it, it just looked really, really nice. Okay, so there's that final braid. Not final braid, I wish. There's the first braid. Okay, guys, so this, this is the finished product, well, part of it. As you can see, I didn't do my entire head. I just got through dipping this side in hot water. Can't really film myself dipping it in here, but I'll try. There's the hot water. Yeah, so I'm not gonna try and film this, but anyway, I just have a picture of hot water here, very, very, very hot water. And I'm gonna dip the ends like this and dip it as far as I can. And I will be right back because I don't want to burn myself again. I'm in my kitchen, but here's what the ends look like. Why is it so bright? And this is what the ends look like. This is sticking off. I guess I just need to wrap my hair or put my hair down at night. It's a really light glare on there. I don't really know if that's coming or why that's there. But yeah, these are the ends. They look really good. 
I'm gonna leave my hair up in a ponytail. Like I said, I decided not to finish it. That's what the middle looked like. I just braided my hair. I may do that. I probably have only six more braids to go, but um, I was really tired. I couldn't even finish it. So that's what that looks like. And I'll be all set for Easter. It looks okay. I'm really not thrilled with it. It's just okay. Yeah.